I've created a C# -sharp application that will con that will divide two numbers and in this application I have a text box named txt dividend another text box named txt divisor and a button named btn calculate and obviously what I want to have happen when I click the calculate button I want to divide the dividend by the divisor and show the result so I've coded that button and so here's my code you'll notice I've got three lines that have some red squigglies there are errors in my code I'm going to bring up the error list and you can see I have four errors amongst these three lines well the first error is on line 22 x equals dividend dot text and it tells me down here that I cannot implicitly convert type string to float so here's what's happening the text property is of data type string and I can't convert a string into a data type of float, which is what x is. We declared x as a float variable. Text can be considerably large. A float variable consists of four bytes. And so in essence, I'm, I may be trying to cram a 10, pound, 10 pounds of potatoes or 100 pounds of potatoes into a 5 pound sack. And that's why it doesn't allow that. Same thing on my next line, exact same problem, trying to convert from string to float. And down, down the message box, there's actually two errors. We're going to focus on the last one, which is cannot convert from float to system Windows Forms uh, i32 window. And really that relates to this little character Z, which is a float data type. And it's expecting that to be a string. So I'm kind of going the opposite way here. I'm trying to go from a float to a string, and uh, it doesn't allow that either. C Sharp is a strictly typed language, and we can't have one data type on one side of the equation and another data type on the other side of the equation. So we need to do some conversion. So when I'm trying to get values from a text box and convert them from a string to a number, we use a dot parse method and with that dot parse method there are different ones based on the data type what I need to do is in front of txt dividend I need to tell it which data type I'm using and then tell it I want to use the parse data or parse method and put what I want to convert inside the parentheses so this line of float.part txt dividend.txt says take the text, which is a string, and parse it or convert it to a float value, and then I'm going to assign that to x. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the next line. And my squigglies go away. It now has accepted those. If x was a double data type instead of float, I would use double.parse. And if y was a double variable, it'd be double dot parse there again. If it was a decimal variable, it'd be decimal dot parse. If it was an integer or int data type, it would be int dot parse. So that we use whatever parse method is appropriate for the data type that we wish to convert to. So my squigglies went away. I still have one down here in the message box, and that's because I'm trying to take this float variable and place it in a parameter that's expecting a string variable. So the way to change that or to fix that is to use the dot to string method. And every data type has a dot to string method. So it doesn't matter whether the z is an int, a float, a decimal, a double. I can always use dot to string. It's a method, so I have to have parentheses after it. And again, my squiggly went away, and my error list now is clear. And let's test this and see if this worked. And I now get 12 divided by 5 is 2.4. And that is correct. So we need to make sure we're converting data types into the appropriate type before we assign it to a variable. Or, in this case, the message box, we assign it to a parameter of a method.
Now let me show you another way of doing some conversions where we're not using text boxes or converting from strings. I'm going to create another variable. It's going to be a type double. I'm just going to call it my double. That'd be the name of our variable. And I can say my double equals x. Now I don't get an error on this statement even though I have a double data type over here on the left and a float data type over here on the right. And the reason being is this is known as a widening conversion. X, the float data type requires less storage space than a double data type. Double is 8 bytes, float is 4. And so in essence what's happening here is I'm putting 5 pounds of potatoes into a 10 pound sack. And that is okay. In this case, C Sharp does what's called a implicit data conversion. It says I have no problem doing this. But if I try to go the other way, let's say my double equals some value. And then I try to assign that to x. Even though 3.1415 is a valid float value, when I try to put my double, or the value of my double, into x, it gives me an error. And down here we can see the error is cannot implicitly convert type double to float. It treats this as a generic statement, not looking at the value of 3.14, but that this is a double value, and it could be any double value. And it's saying, okay, doubles are larger than floats. I can't necessarily convert this because you may be trying to cram 10 pounds of potatoes into a 5-pound sack. So how do we fix that? Well, I can put in front of my double, and in parentheses, the word float. And what I'm saying here is, okay, take the my double value and convert it to a float value if you can, and then place that into the value of x. This is called an explicit data conversion. And by doing an explicit data conversion, it allows for C Sharp to do some error handling that does not happen with implicit data conversions and that's why this is allowed. So if we're going from a larger data type to a smaller data type we need to do an explicit data conversion by specifying the data type inside parentheses in front of the value. In the same way if I wanted this to be an integer so we can create an integer I'm going to call it XYZ and if I say XYZ equals Y, I get an error because I can't go from type float to type int, but I can do an explicit conversion in changing Y to an integer through the explicit conversion before I assign it to the XYZ variable.